Hey, what's up, ladies and gentle tubers? My name is Tyler, this is the Everride Channel. We've got a dead end in 500 feet, which is exactly what we want to see. It's not actually a dead end, it's, uh, it's more like a born end. Anyway, let's get straight to it. Uh, man, okay, first of all, I did not see a story worth living. I uh, didn't see it. I actually wasn't really interested in it uh, in the beginning because because I've done the Alpine Loop and I know here's the thing is it is an amazing backdrop. I mean the, the Alpine Loop in Colorado, uh, those passes and those roads are incredibly good. Uh, however, you know at the top of those passes, we'd see like Subaru Foresters and stuff, and so you know I was kind of I was kind of bewildered. Uh, by the trailers because the trailers were fantastic cinematography and I thought well here's these guys they've got their really nice bikes and tons of equipment obviously lots and lots of money uh, they're new riders but this shouldn't be a struggle for them at all um, so I'll, I'll you know I'll wait for it to come out on video or whatever and you know just kind of see what people say about it but I was kind of thinking there's no possible way that that they can just go do the Alpine Loop and have a big huge story about it uh, because you know we did it in like two days with the Rocky Mountain ATV guys uh, and granted you know those were experienced riders but uh, I mean it's not like our pace was blistering fast we weren't racing each I mean we we're going about this fast the whole time um, you can see it in my videos of, of the ride so uh, the video you know the movie gets released last night and people are super upset and uh, you know, and Sons, the guys who made the movie, um, they're very, you know, very good of them to offer a refund. I'm sure that the marketing for them wasn't cheap uh, because they marketed that like crazy. They, I mean, I had never seen something motorcycle related, even the Africa Twin, which is, seems to be dominating like every topic out there. But I've never seen something blow up quite that fast. You know, everybody in the whole community wanted to go see this movie. Anyway, it was, uh, you know, kind of an interesting thing for me because I was like, I just don't see how this uh, would merit a plot. You know, maybe they're really terrible riders and it would be really hard for them to, to ride the Alpine Loop. Um, and then, oh man. And then, and then there was last night, you know, the night of the movie's release, one night only, sold out in so many places. And I started getting the texts and the texts were not good. And then I started looking at the, at the forums and uh, it wasn't looking good. So one of the arguments uh, about the movie was that, uh, you know, people are like, this basically was just a Christian movie with really, really false advertising and I felt duped. And some of the people who liked the movie, there, were, there are people out there, uh, they say, well, it was a really, it was a really great movie. Um, you had to know who the author was. You had to know who was making it, though. Like, would you go, would you go see a movie without knowing who the writer or the director was? <laughs> and you know, that's kind of a good point. But at the same time, I don't think I've ever known a director or writer of a movie before going and seeing it. I go and see a movie based on the trailer. So, yes, I, you know, I do believe that people got duped. Um, and for those that liked it, that's awesome. And uh, I really hope they found deeper, deeper meaning. Basically, you know, my response to that, it, I have a couple of different responses. I am worried about, you know, uh, Christianity as a whole uh, getting kind of uh, blasted in the motorcycling community because uh, this ended up being a, basically, a, what, from what I understand, a Christian film. Um, and a lot of people felt very, very misled, and that probably didn't do much good for the cause of Christianity. Uh, so I am saddened about that. And uh, on a totally secular note, <laughs> I am sad and concerned about the sponsorships. Because these guys had some big, big sponsors, and some big money behind it, and people are raging. I mean, people are actually voicing their disgust with the sponsors and Charlie Borman <laughs> for promoting this film. BMW Motorrad promoted it. 
and I don't know if they'd seen it yet. I'm, I'm not sure who had actually seen the film before promoting it. Anyway, wow, well, yeah, we're overlooking the Badlands. Little wheelie, little Badlands wheelie. So, you know, for us guys who base their living off of sponsorship, you know, I'm not trying to make a million bucks or anything like that. I'm just a doinky YouTuber. But, uh, you know, sponsorships are a large part of my income these days, and, and it's when somebody kind of... When somebody kind of maligns the whole community like that, uh, at least from, from what's being said out there, that hurts all of us. Um, so that's too bad. I think that's the main problem. It wasn't what you expected. Uh, you expected a motorcycle film and, and got something else instead. And I think that was the main problem. The, the problem was in the marketing, you know, not necessarily the movie, because it probably has a great target audience. I just think they went really hard after the adventure motorcycling segment, and uh, it bit them, you know, it really bit them. I mean, they're, they're, they are offering refunds, and so uh, they will most definitely lose money, and uh, wow, man, I thought I had trolls. And the thing is, is it has, it has turned some of the nicest people that I know, uh, you know, seeing their comments on the page, uh, both my Facebook page about the movie and, uh, oh, this is good. And, um, you know, Anson's Facebook page and Anson's uh, YouTube channel with the trailer on it. Oh man, the wrath is strong with the community right now. People are in a rage. And it's because it was marketing, it marketed as, as something totally different than what it was from, from what I understand. Um, and a lot of people, you know, walked out because of that. So, long story short, I think that people spent their money and their time, and uh, they got something that they absolutely weren't expecting. Um, and that definitely makes people angry. And so, my question is, uh, you know, here I am, I make motorcycle videos all the time. What, uh, and, and I've had a couple of comments, Tyler, you should make a movie. You should make a movie. And uh, here's the funny thing is I kind of have been making a movie this whole time. <laughs> uh, I've been gathering footage for years now, but you know, my movie's not done yet. I, I, the story's still being written right now. Um, but the, the overarching theme is I do want to make a movie eventually. And I'm kind of wondering what does make a good motorcycle movie? What is it that made Long Way Around so successful and uh, a story worth living so, you know, apparently terrible. Um, I want to kind of harness what made Long Way good. Was it the reasons why I loved Long Way is because even though it was two actors, I felt that it was very genuine, you know, and uh, their adventure was real and, and something fun, something exciting, something that there, there, were, there was true fear about it. Um, you know, they really were afraid at points. They really were vulnerable at points. And uh, their successes were all the more real because of it. So that's, that's one thing that I got out of the Long Way series. Um, even though, I mean, if you, a lot of the complaints about uh, the Ant Sons movie were that it was a lot of uh, sitting around and talking. Well, Long Way was too, actually. <laughs> But uh, it was more about, it was, I guess the focus was more outside of themselves and about the places they were visiting and how, how they felt universal emotions instead of talking about themselves. Uh, I think that's a big thing. It's something that I struggle with, obviously. Uh, you know, being a motor vlogger, I talk about myself all the time. So I would love to know in the comments uh, what kind of things you guys want to see in a in a movie. If there was going to be an Everide movie, uh, what would you want to what would you want to see in it? Wheelies, <laughs> little dinky wheelies. Now, part of the problem about asking what would you like to see in a movie is, you know, when you're doing a motorcycle adventure movie, if you script things then things aren't authentic, you know, that's just, 
it's just basically contrived. It's a little bit how I felt about their trailer. Um, however, you know, if basically you go on a ride and you bring the film equipment, I was telling my friend Nastis yesterday, the adventure is gonna happen. The movie will happen. You just gotta take the ride. <laughs> and you gotta have the equipment. That's one of the big things. But uh, if, you, if you ride far enough, you're gonna have some problems. And uh, it is gonna be an adventure. Somehow, somewhere. What is the essence of a, of a great motorcycle adventure? Um, to find oneself? to find adventure, to experience adversity. Those are all things that I personally look for. That's one of the things that made me uh, start doing this in the first place, was uh, watching Half Throttle and really, really enjoying his stuff, his adventures, you know, because he found plenty of adversity. Anyway, guys, I'm about on the pavement again. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, liking, all of that youtube -y stuff. Uh, and please let me know what you think in the comments below of what makes a great movie. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make it for you. Um, thanks so much once again. Much love to all of you. Have a ride out.